Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So with the upcoming end of support of Windows 10 shortly, in October, as we have been talking about on the channel, and as I've been posting, one of Microsoft's recommendations for the end of Windows 10, if your hardware does not meet the system requirements to be upgraded to Windows 11, is to go out and buy yourself a brand new Windows 11 PC. Now, obviously, this has been causing quite a lot of debate and mainly because of all the e-waste that all these millions of computers would generate, as we have been discussing. And I'll leave the previous video I posted. Microsoft still wants you to buy a new PC, but now recommends ESU, the Extended Security Updates Program. Link down below and in the end screen. Go check it out if you'd like some more info. Now, a big problem with the upcoming end of support is a lot of these Windows 10 devices are perfectly running machines. But due to Microsoft's strict hardware requirements, cannot be upgraded to Windows 11. Now, obviously, as you may well know, just because your Windows 10 device cannot run Windows 11, it doesn't mean that you still can't use it. I mean, you can carry on using Windows 10 unsupported if you so wish. I'll leave a video linked down below in the end screen regarding how you can safely, within reason, use Windows 10 after support, if you so wish, without upgrading. If your device obviously cannot upgrade or you just don't want to. Or you can run another operating system on that device. Chrome OS Flex is another example, or Linux is another popular choice. So if you have the know-how, you could install Linux on your perfectly working Windows 10 device, which according to Microsoft is unable to run Windows 11. So that's the point of today's video. And I just wanted to post this, which I think will make our Linux viewers happy. Now, to assist with this process, there is a new website that's been launched called End of 10, which is a project backed by KDE, which basically gives a couple of reasons why they say Linux is better. Now, I'm going to say at the outset that some of these reasons are debatable and some of them do make sense. And I'll leave this End of 10 linked in the description. It says support for Windows 10 ends October 14, 2025. Microsoft wants you to buy a new computer. But what if you could make your current one fast and secure again? And if we scroll down, it says, if you bought your computer after 2010, there's most likely no reason to throw it out. By just installing an up-to-date Linux operating system, you can keep using it for years to come, and so on. Now, here are the reasons that they list. Five reasons to upgrade your old computer to Linux. It's way cheaper, as they say. And they mentioned that a new laptop costs a lot of money. Repair cafes will often help you for free. Software updates are also free forever. Point number two, no ads, no spying. I think that one speaks for itself. Could be a bit debatable. It's good for the planet. Production of a computer accounts for 75 plus percent of carbon emissions over its life cycle. Keeping a functioning device longer is a hugely effective way to reduce emissions. Number four, you get community support, and number five, user control. And I think this is a big one with the way Windows is currently going, where you are in control, they say, of the software, not companies. Use your computer how you want for as long as you want. And the nice thing about this website is it's got different links which will help you and assist you with your migration over from Windows 10 to Linux. But I'll leave this in the description. thought this was interesting. And obviously, some of those points are debatable. But nonetheless, um, just wanted to keep you guys in the loop that there are other options with the upcoming end of support of Windows 10. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.